So I've used Velcro so I can just pull off the center section and replace when needed. And then the tablet is an Android tablet, which I've got Velcro front and back. So for travel and transport, I put it screen side in and then nothing is scratched on the screen. Once out in the field, go into the phone and enable your Wi-Fi hotspot. If you're not out in the field, if there's any other Wi-Fi, you just need to get both devices on the Wi-Fi. But I'm using a hotspot here and your data does not need to be active. You then want to get the tablet onto the same Wi-Fi network. And then you want to go into the smart controller, well, the RC Pro, and get that onto the same network. So now you've got both the controller and the tablet on the same network. You can use the top left button back out on the RC Pro and you want to go and fire up AP Power Mirror on the RC Pro and fire it up on the tablet. I'll put a link in the description to the app and the APK file for that. Then you go onto your controller, you do screencast, select the tablet, select cast, and that's it. You're good to go. You can back out again to the home screen and start DJI Fly. And it's time to go off, fire up the drone and get flying. The lag isn't too bad. As you can see here when you zoom in, it's just a micro delay to change. It does depend on what sort of network you're on a little and how far you are, but considering you shouldn't be too far from the screen, it is absolutely bearable as a second screen, a director feed, or for the second operator to um, make some decisions on. <laughs> 